Hello everyone, this is Janie, and I am playing a game that I couldn't find to purchase. I really would have if it was like under $10, because most Game Boy Color games are. Heck, even if it was like uh, 15 to 20 or whatever, I might have purchased it, but... I cannot find this game at all for any price, online or otherwise, but it seems like a pretty good game from what I've played so far. Level 1, Forest of the North. Um, I only got to like level 3, 2 or something when I was just like, I need to re start recording this. I have a good reason to play it through on an emulator. Uh, Moomin Mama's handkerchief has blown away in the wind. It is an important handkerchief full of Moomin Mama's memories. Whatever that means. Moomin sets off to the forest in search of it. I don't think there was any level select. It seems pretty linear. But anyways, it seems like an ordinary platformer, but it, like I really like the or the animations, and I like the just the tightness of the controls and game design, and the way it like celebrates every little thing. It's fun. It's not terribly difficult to begin with, but. That just makes it easy to get into, I think. Now, I think this was some sort of anime or children's cartoon or something, but whatever, I didn't watch that. Or, I had children's books, actually, I think might have been it. Maybe some combination, but I have no idea. I just played the game, like, randomly looking through a list of ROMs. Because that's seriously my strategy right now. I want to get a color Game Boy, and I just bought one along with um, some games for it, some actual games. But um, I don't want to pick up some crap games, so I'm looking through the ROMs. I'm just playing it for like 10 to 30 minutes. found this one and it's like, wow, this is pretty freaking cool. Look at that. Look at that. That's all animated. All smooth and all nice. This is just super cute and super fun to play. I don't know why. It's just it's, it's really polished. I don't know. And especially if this is a licensed title. Usually licensed games are terrible. Whoa, what just happened? That started me over? Really? I, I never screwed up a whole lot when I was playing it through, so I don't really know which parts do certain things when you screw up. Ugh. But it usually stares at you and gives you a mean look. You can press B to refill your health, but that seems to be the only thing that B does. So it doesn't change your uh, running speed at all. I love it how he celebrates his, his uh, success at each moment. It's so happy. I assume that's a, a, a guy. Hippo or whatever it is. Although, like, moving sounds like a cow, but that doesn't really look like a cow to me. It looks like a hippo. So, I am playing this on KIGB. So, I tried playing Game Boy Color games on Visual Boy. 
Advance, I think is what it's called, and it was just, like, way too fast. I don't know why. Now, some of these fruits light you up, like, make you all shaky-colored, and I don't know why yet. I have not read any manual on this. I mean, it's so hard to find information on this, I don't even think I want to try looking for a manual. Yeah, if anyone wants to clue us in on what the origin of this character and stuff is, that'd be cool to read. I didn't really look it up. But if you're a big fan of Moomin, then uh, express your love for it. Oh, this is the boss battle. No dialogue, just in the, in the fighting. Oh, what's great about this is I just, like, bounce on him forever. As long as I don't fall off, I just chip away at his health the whole time. Tapping back and forth to make sure I don't slide off. There we go. Why is it saying two directions? I can walk back? I forgot about that. I think I only tried that, like, very first level, and then forgot about that completely. I don't think there's any need to walk back yet. Maybe that's in later stages. I don't know. Oh no! Don't throw that at me! That's not nice. Ooh! Yeah, jumping makes you go a little faster. Ooh, did I just kill that thing? Where's the... Where's the question mark? I need it. Oh no! Come back here. This is just... It's like this game is hard enough. It's just not... It's not, it, it's so well designed that usually when you screw up, it's your own fault like that. Like I could have avoided all these things and there's a pattern to it that I could avoid getting hit and... It's like the characters are big, but the environment and the enemies and the patterns are designed around the screen size, so it works out. In the forest, Moomin bumps into Stinky. He insists that Moomin Mama's handkerchief is actually his. He's a liar. The handkerchief is hanging from the top of a tall tree. Moomin and Stinky compete for the handkerchief by racing each other up the tree. I need to get that handkerchief back. It has Moomin Mama's memories. Press A and B buttons alternating as many times as you can and quickly. Ready? Okay. Now, I played this before, and it seems that this guy catches up, but it's uh, just to psych you out. Or is it? Damn, I'm doing terrible. Wow, I'm doing awful at this. Do I have it on, like, easy mode or something? Why am I sucking so bad at this right now? Is there an easy mode? I think there was only start and password. Okay, let's... Get our serious goggles on. Oh. My fingers ache. Kicking butt this time. Wow. Like before, when I was doing it on my, uh, that's nice. Uh, before when I was doing... Actually, I should probably print screen that. Anyways. Oh, can I... 
to any like, save screenshot or something. Dump screen. Let's do that. Wherever that goes. I think that goes into the emulator folder. Okay. Moomin has managed to bring back Moomin Mama's handkerchief. She is very pleased. There is no doubt that Moomin will be having a delicious dinner tonight because now she knows the recipe. She had it trapped in that handkerchief. The Mysterious Red Light, level 2. The people of Moomin Valley are, t are talking about a red light on the... Uh, 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 the red light they have seen on the summit of the western mountain. Moomin sets out to find what it is. So this whole place is named after Moomin, apparently. Or he's named after the whole place. I just tried right now to select and I couldn't select anything, so that's just showing you the area for some reason. See, this is the first time it's like looking at the screen. Makes sense. Usually in platforming games there's no good reason to have the character look at the screen because it's all two-dimensional walking. Uh, left and right, I mean. Alright. Oh my goodness. Why is he staring at me still? Stop it. Oh, okay. I had to press A to get up. I'm actually using a Sega Genesis 6 button controller. Which works pretty good. It would be cool if there was a way to hook up, um, like an actual Game Boy through USB, but I have no idea. Ah! I could have totally gone in that way, but I want to see if there's an alternative. Ooh, this is a nice alternative. I don't think I went this way before. Like this. Whoa. Oh, this didn't even hurt me. Sweet. I don't think I've had those before. Ah, okay, I gotta go back then. That was just a bonus area, apparently. I love how he just looks all, like, kind of sad or worried. <laughs> it's like... I'm going on this quest, but I'm not so sure it's a good idea. Oh no. Did he just kill himself by throwing that? Ah, oh, okay. Whoa. Ah! Okay. If I go up real close when he throws it, he won't be able to hit me. Oh, he just jumped off! Those things just suicide themselves. I want to get up there. Okay, maybe if I wait for him over here. No, no, no! Bad. He's hiding. He's shy. No! Oh, there's no reason to get up there. I don't see any reason to get up there. I don't see anything. I'm leaving. Whew. 
Sorry, I don't have anything to say right now. I'm just exploring. Oh no! Backtracking. Whoa. Stop it. There we go. And it's like subtle things like this, like a lot of Game Boy Color games have trouble. It seems like they need to limit the amount of colors per like 10 by 10 square or something like that. And they have trouble making it look seamless. They end up making it look very apparent that it's that it's a limitation of the system. This this game does a pretty good job of like smoothing out the transitions. advantage of see this part is just made me like whoa when I played it first it's like dang I didn't even know you could do that on Game Boy Color whoa See how this was not a popular game. This is awesome. Like maybe it was and maybe it's just like all the collectors have it and they're not giving it up or something like that. But where is this game? Probably find a Japanese one. I, I know that it's there's a Japanese version. This is, uh, I think, the UK version. A huge rock suddenly appears in front of Moomin. The rock has blocked Moomin's way, and his journey has come to a standstill. Right, what's it gonna do? A small fly comes and perches on this immovable rock. Which is apparently not so immovable anymore. This has caused the rock to lose its balance and it starts to roll toward Moomin. Oh no. I was just chasing a shiny object. Moomin is being chased by a huge rock. Control Moomin swiftly and bring him to safety on the left side of the screen. Now originally what I tried to do is I tried to like hug the left side of the screen as much as possible, that is a bad idea because then you end up trying to jump for a ledge and you don't have enough footing, enough high ground to actually make it. So give yourself a little space for the parts that catch you. Shit like that. Sorry, I cussed. Sorry. That's bad. I, I try to I try not to cuss in um, kids games because that's bad. Because uh, I figure kids might watch this kind of game. Probably shouldn't watch games with adult content, so I feel free in those games. Not adult content like nudity, but just like mature themes, sort of thing. Anyways, anyways. So let's not get tricked up. In that same spot that I always do. There we go. I think I got it. What? Am I gonna do? Yes, I did it. You just like hopped in midair and hopped right back. Stop skipping a beat. Okay. 
time for screen dump. Uh, there we go. Or I could have pressed F12. Whatever. Moomin has finally made it to the top of the mountain. And at last he finds out what was giving off the red light. It is a large unearthly ruby. For a while, Moomin stands mesmerized by the ruby. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere comes a young man. He is actually the rightful owner of the ruby. How do you know that? He looks shady. Hearing what has happened, Moomin decides to return it to him. The young man is delighted at this. He's probably going to use it for nefarious purposes. There he goes, all awkwardly flying on his cat for some reason. And so, before he sets off again, he leaves Moomin a wonderful present. It's a bomb! It is a magical gift entitled The New Adventure in Hell. Level 3. Where is the hand organ? The people of Moomin House have all decided to have a party. One of the things they have planned is a hand organ concert. But the hand organ has disappeared. Someone has carried it into the forest. Moomin makes off for the forest in search of it. legit. <laughs> that was an easy level. <laughs> okra. Uh, this is, uh, I said okra by the way, because, uh, you know, I like seasonings in my games. Right, that's not a season, that's a vegetable. What am I thinking? This is a difficult one. There we go. Now I just gotta wait for them to stop throwing stuff! Stop it! See, this would be just awful if he didn't recognize the pattern. Oh, or if you're stupid like that. Everyone's stupid sometimes. Especially me. Okay, come on, come on, come on. No, there we go. Oh, you see, what is that? What a, did that just make me faster or something? I think that made me a little faster, I don't know. I could just be making stuff up. There we go. And to grab it quick before it went off the edge of the screen. Yeah, I think that... I'm pretty sure that I'm less mopey when I eat one of those. Okay, this was like the first time I had a huge mess of injuries like that. There we go. See, because it comes back and hits you before you have time to do anything. Come on. Ah. Oh, crud. Ah. Please let me... Oh, I could get more? Then... Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, that should be it. No, no, no. I'm gonna die! No! I didn't want to jump on that! Moomin's adventure was unsuccessful. It made him cry. Would you like to- heck yes! I would not- I would- I would- yeah, like to continue? Sure. I'm gonna have to do that crazy part over again. Whip, whip, whip. Yeah, I'm totally slower right now. No! I just got 
bought it because, you know, I wanted to. Now, I, I haven't risked running in between those yet. Seems like a bad idea. Yes! Okay. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. Save state. Uh, save state, save. Save slot one. Error could not. Well, whatever. I'm gonna not cheat. Because apparently I am set it up somehow to let me cheat. No! Why do I make the same mistakes? <sighs> Please don't kill me. No! Don't kill me! I didn't say kill me. Oh, that's what it did. It split it. No, stop it! Stop it! No! I'm terrible. I gotta find a way to do save states. Gotta. This is awful. Uh, how about I do it myself and then continue recording from there. Okay, I finished that part that's really hard. Um, again, on my own. I haven't found out a way to do save states using this emulator. Usually, emulators make it pretty easy to do these things. Ugh. There we go. Um, oh, by the way, this is what it looks like when it's paused. Um, and... I looked for the screen dumps and I didn't find those either. However, I did find the passwords on GameWinners.com, so I can just look it up if I need it. There we go. Yay! And yeah, I have no way of saving from the emulator, so I'll just do passwords. Like the game intended. And I'll just get good at the game. Hopefully. Whee! Ooh, is this climbing on trees? No, I guess not. Whee! Uh oh. I really like it that he doesn't take fall damage. Like, I was playing the, the Muppets game for Game Boy Color. And it, it's so good, like, um, as far as the platforming goes, I hate games that have the camera that, like, lags behind your character's movement. Like, this game, you see it's one-to-one. -one. The camera moves exactly with you. You're in the middle of the screen. That's good. Uh, but most games, it's like it lags behind for some reason, and then you can't see what's in front of you. Ah. Sorry, I accidentally stopped recording there. There we go. Only for like a second though. Um, but yeah, it's like, what is the point of that? Maybe it's easier on the system if you're not moving around the camera all the time, but games like this do it just fine. What is your problem? And that indicates that I can jump down there, because games should not tease you like that if you can't jump down there. So, obviously, yes, I can. But what's up here? Is there anything? Whee! Nope. Okay. But yeah, the only problem with that game... Well, for one, the, the writing in that game sucks. Obviously not by the Muppets writers. Um, but secondly... Um, it has fall damage. And not just, like you're falling two stories or something and you should take damage but like falling like skipping a platform when you're falling or something like that going to the one right below it it's just too finicky like I'm, I'm all for realism and in, in like having fall damage just not so much that it takes away from the experience. Ah, I should have used food. 
dang it! Does that mean I have to do that all over again? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, 3-3. Three, three. That's good. Okay, that's better. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... That's better, right? That's better. I forget where this is in relation. Uh, um, yeah, like, I'm all for realism as long as it doesn't take away a whole lot of fun from games. If it makes sense to have fall damage and it doesn't totally screw you over in your experience. But otherwise, just keep it be. And an another thing that I like about that game, I really should just play it so that you can see how it is. But another thing I like is that it has a save feature. Like, so many of these Game Boy Color games, they don't have a save feature. And some of the ones that don't have a save feature, they have, like, just terrible sounding voice audio. And it's like, you could have used that space for saving your game. But instead you chose to, like, have very awful sounding chippy voice of oh, whoa oops sorry it's like no it's a Game Boy Color game we're not expecting Sega CD but the Muppets game actually had a save feature it didn't have very fun gameplay. Although I think people like rate it more per more poorly than it deserves. So I kind of want to play it just because it's like an underdog. Ah, give me a break. Oh, no, no, no. 